Hi everyone, it's Jennifer. I'm back. <laughs> I know it's been a while since I've uh, posted any videos. I actually do have a couple of videos that I have recorded. I just need to finish editing them. It's just <laughs> these videos are so much work, just a lot more work than I anticipated. But hopefully I will have them finished and up pretty soon. Um, in the meantime, this video is different than my other videos. It's not a teaching video. This is a demo for a potential client. So this is a sample VBA project that I created. But I would like to ask my subscribers and other viewers to watch this video and give me some feedback because I am considering creating a paid course in which I teach you step by step how to recreate this VBA project. So if you could watch this video and then give me some feedback in the comments. And also I will be creating a poll in the community section of my YouTube channel. So if you go to my YouTube channel, there's a tab that says community and I'm going to put a poll in there in which you can also respond. Okay, so let me get started. So this project is to get data from a website and bring it into Excel. So you can see here that I created a custom tab here. Um, I created a custom ribbon. It, it has one tab, um, API demo, and it just has one button right now. It has this drop down button and then you see it has three sources. These are the three sources that I'm going to be getting data from on the web. So the first one is USDA. So if I go ahead and click that, then you see I get this pop-up window that allows me to choose some parameters for the data that I want to retrieve. So I can choose the commodity and the year. So I'm going to go ahead and choose aquatic plants for the year 2019. And then I hit get data and there's our data. And I have programmed it to create a new tab and it has the name of the commodity that we chose and the year that we chose. And this is all for California. Um, this I just hard coded, you know, it's just a demo. So this is all, all the data is for California because I just hard coded that, I hard coded this just to make it a little bit easier on myself. But as you can see, this is the commodity that we chose, aquatic plants, and this is the year. So let me do another example for the USDA. So I click this again, and this time I'm going to do dates. And the year is going to be 2020. And so now if I get the data, and again, you know, it's all California data, and then we have dates and the year is 2020. And let me show you where this data is coming from. This is coming from this site here, this quickstats.nass.usda.gov. And so if you search uh, for the same things here, so if we do crops and then we do, uh, let me put the state in here, we'll do California, and then we did aquatic plants, and our year was 2019 and I get this data. So now we see that we have nine rows here of data and if we come back to our spreadsheet we see for aquatic plants we also have nine rows of data not counting the header. Um, and so let me go back and we'll do the dates. So if I change this from aquatic plants to dates and I change the year to 2020, get data. And here's the dates data for California. And this has 13 rows, which we see we have 13 rows here without the header. Okay, so that is the USDA data. Now let's do this one. This is public APIs. Um, and in this one, I'll show you where this, this data is coming from. This data is coming from this website, 
Epiphany. And they have a list of a whole bunch of APIs um, that you can use for free. And uh, this one does not require a key. Um, and what APIs and keys are, I'll get into all of that if I do a course on this. So anyway, the data that I'm going to be using for this example is this one right here, which is a list of public APIs. And so if I click on this, you see that I'm going to get this JSON file here. So this is all the data that is going to be put into our Excel spreadsheet in the form of a table. So if I come back here, so for this one, I do not actually have to choose a category. Um, the other one on the other one, let me close that, the USDA one, I did need to choose a category. So if I just do get data, then I'm going to get this message that says, please choose a commodity in year. <clears throat> and the reason I did it that way is because there is a lot, a lot, a lot of data for the USDA. And if you ask for all of it, you're going to get an error message because it's, um, I believe that Excel can now hold just over a million rows of data, but you're going to get a, a lot more data than that if you ask for all of it. So I put that message there to let you know that you do actually need to filter your results down to get a reasonable number of rows back. Okay. But however, for this public API, although it does return a lot of data, you can get all of it. So to demonstrate first, I'm just going to do get data with no category chosen. And you'll see that I get this tab called all. So this is all of the data. And if we come to the bottom of this table, you see that there's um, 1425 rows of data. So um, that's quite a bit of data. And as you can see, we have, if I come to the end here, here's the category. You see we have many, many categories here. So we have gotten all of the data from that website. And as you see, each one is opening in a new tab. Also for the public APIs, we can choose a category. Um, so let's just choose one. Let's do books. And then if we get the data, now we see that we that we have just 23 rows of data and the only category is books. Okay, so that is the public, the public API example. And the last one is the National Park Service. And so that data is going to be coming from this website. <clears throat> The National Park Service allows you to um, get data about the different national parks in America. And you can um, get data about what kind of activities you can do there, what state they're in, and that kind of thing. So let's get that data. So if we come here and we do National Park Service, this one is a little bit different. You see here we have a list box, whereas with the other two, we had a combo box. So this is a combo box. You do a pull down. You can only choose one category. You know, in terms of, of, of getting the data, you could choose more than one category. I just did it that way because this is just a demo. So I just set it up that you could get one category. But on this one, I decided to do a list box. And so you can actually choose multiple categories. Well, first of all, I'm going to I'm going to get all of the data because on this one you can also get all of the data. So I'll just click this. <clears throat> and you see on this tab, I'm just here. I'm just putting the I'm putting activity parks and then I'm putting the time. This is actually the time. This is um 6:30, you know, in 37 seconds. Um just because the tab name is always going to be the the same. I probably should have done that with this all tab too. Although, you know, you would you would set this up so that you actually re-query the data instead of getting a whole new tab. But anyway, that's kind of off track. But um, so anyway, you see you get all of this data back. So these are the categories that we can choose from. These are the activities that you can do at the various parks. You see there's quite a few of them. Um, these are the states that the parks are located in. Um, you have a park code. You have the type of park that it is, 
you have um, the full name of the park and then over here this one is is a short name for the park and then here you have a website for the park where you can go visit um, get more information online so let me do one where we choose some categories so let's do you know astronomy caving we'll do guided tours scuba diving and water skiing okay and so if we get the data <clears throat> then now we see we have a new tab here and now we see that we only have these categories we chose astronomy caving guided tours scuba diving and water skiing and so doing it this way we we would need to be aware that there are probably more activities that we could do at the parks but they're not going to show up because we filtered on only these activities but you know if we were looking for something specific to do this is very helpful you know and again i could have added more fields to allow us to to filter on states or the, or the type of park it is you know that kind of thing but just for demo purposes i didn't do any of that and to be honest with you i probably would not add it in in the paid course either because i feel like we would have enough material to cover with just what's here already so that is the demo again please let me know if you'd be interested in a paid course to learn how to do this and you can leave your feedback in the comments and also as i mentioned earlier i'm going to create a poll that i'm going to put on my youtube channel under the community tab where you can also respond that way so thank you for watching i will try to get more videos out soon and as always, if you like my videos, please like and subscribe.